So as far as aging goes, humans have it pretty good. I mean, we're no giant tortoises, but we're generally capable of living for decades. Some of us for more than a century. And here at Brain Stuff, this got all of us thinking, what is the world's oldest living thing? Oh, it's a tricky question, and the answer depends on how we define living and a thing. First, let's tackle what we mean by a thing. So if we say a thing could also be a clonal colony, then the competition heats up pretty quickly. There are numerous plant and fungal clone colonies that have been around for tens of thousands of years, and they're still barreling along. There's King Clone, the creosote bush in the Mojave. It's almost 12,000 years old. And we can't forget Pando, the gigantic male quaking aspen clonal colony in Utah. He's about 80,000 years old. Incidentally, and this is just between us, he's also the heaviest living thing. He weighs around 6 million kilograms. He's sensitive about it though, so... But what if we stick to single organisms? If so, then the tiny endoliths are strong contenders. These extremophile Methuselahs like to, you know, kick back and take it easy. For millions of years, they have lived about a mile and a half below the ocean floor with metabolism slower than molasses, only reproducing once every few centuries or millennia. I mean, that makes pandas look like rabbits. So there's a big, let's call it a loophole in the definition of living, and that's dormancy. What if something was frozen in time, trapped in stasis, and then revived like Captain America, or you know, the alien on the thing? In 2011, Professor Brian Schubert published a paper on just that. He discovered a bacteria in what he called a kind of hibernation state, inside tiny bubbles of 34,000 year old salt crystals. So if we allow an organism to take, you know, a time out or some kind of super nap, and spend thousands of years in stasis, there are loads of competitors for the title of oldest living thing. There is one other important thing. Some organisms might be immortal. Now, don't get jealous. We're not talking some sort of super sexy, high elf or vampire type immortality. Nope, we're talking about jellyfish. Specifically, Hydra and the Turritopsis dory. The Turritopsis is only about 4.5 millimeters large, but it's capable of something that might be unique in the animal world. After reaching sexual maturity, this thing can revert to its polyp stage. That means it can reverse and reset its aging cycle, rendering it biologically immortal. Imagine yourself just getting tired of being old and then turning into a baby. And the hydra jellyfish, that doesn't seem to age at all. So all this means that potentially the oldest living organism could one day be a jellyfish. But for now, the oldest living continually active things on Earth appear to be these extremophile organisms collectively called endoliths. At least, that's the current working theory. Thanks for watching. Here's a question that's not directly related, but I'm curious. Would you want to live forever? And if not, how long would you like to live? Let me know in the comments and check out HowStuffWorks.com for more info and subscribe so you don't miss a moment of brain stuff.